Hello, my name is Mr Wade and I'm one of the brass teachers here at Rotherham Music. Today I'm going to show you a couple of the instruments that you might be able to play in your school. The first one I'm going to show you is probably the most famous. This is of course a trumpet. Trumpets work by, we have a mouthpiece which goes on your mouth and then that passes into some tubing and out with what we call the bell. On the top you can see we've got these little buttons which you push up and down, these are called valves. They help us to change through the different notes. How you play them is very simple. You buzz your lips into a mouthpiece and then that goes into your trumpet and you play the tunes. So that's how trumpets work. They're really simple, provided you can buzz a note, you'll get a note on a brass instrument. Trumpets are used in all sorts of groups. They're used in orchestras, in bands, in uh, concert bands, in jazz bands. You'll see them behind pop groups and all sorts of places. They're famous for playing in film music. Here's a film, bit of film music you might know. My name is Mr Mansfield and I teach the low brass instruments. Mr Wade has told us all about the upper instruments but here is a slightly different one. This is the trombone. Unlike the other brass instruments this doesn't have any valves but has a slide with which we change the notes. Just like this. And if we put all that together we can play a tune like this. If you'd like to play the trombone, we do have some slight smaller models for slightly smaller children. Thank you very much indeed and hope to see you soon. Hello, my name's Hannah and I'm from Rotherham Music. So I'm a strings teacher and today I'm going to show you my instrument here. It's called the violin. It's the shortest, the smallest and the highest of the string family. Would you like to listen to it? So we can play the violin with this thing here called the bow or without the bow. So let's have a listen to it if I play with pizzicato. And that means to pluck the string. Have a listen. You might recognise that if you've seen lots of films you'll no doubt heard that at an introduction to one of those films. Uh, this is called a snare drum and it belongs to a huge family of instruments called percussion. There are around about 10,000 percussion instruments, different types of percussion instruments and this is just one of them. If you want to have percussion lessons you will probably learn to play one of these. It's called a snare drum because underneath we have some metal wires, you can see those metal wires there and they're called snares and that's what gives it its special sound. Have another listen. So this instrument here is what we call a tuned percussion instrument. It's specifically called a glockenspiel. Glockenspiels are made out of metal so we strike them with beaters on the top and they sound like bells. It's laid out similar to a piano really, so at the top end we've got the high notes and at the bottom end we've got the low notes. In fact the low notes are much bigger than the, than the high notes. And if I go down the scale, this is called a chromatic scale. You'll hear it getting lower there. I can use different kinds of beaters on this to create different sounds. These are made out of rubber much lighter sound and these are made out of metal which are going to give a much more harder sound and let me just demonstrate how we can play tunes on a glockenspiel you'll recognize this this is from the films of Harry Potter
Hi, I'm Catherine and I'm a woodwind teacher with Rotherham Music. I'm going to show you this instrument that I've got with me now. This is a flute and it's a member of the woodwind family. I'm going to make the sound by blowing across the top of the lip plate here, which is going to split the air in half and that's going to make the sound. I'm going to use these keys to change the notes and make the notes higher and lower. I can play pieces like this. And this is a clarinet. This is also a member of the woodwind family. The sound is made in a completely different way to the flute. It's got a reed, which is a very, very thin piece of bamboo, which will vibrate against the mouthpiece to make the sound. There's also keys, which I will um, press down to change the notes to make it higher or lower. It can play quite low notes, the tunes like this. <laughs> and it can also play quite high for tunes like this which is from Mozart's clarinet concerto <laughs> Hi, my name's Andrew Leach, I'm the guitar teacher from Rotherham Music Service and I'm here to talk to you today about the guitar. Okay, this that we've got in front of us here is what we call a Spanish guitar. So, on guitar we can do two types of things. We can play melodies, which are just one note played at any time. Or we can play all the strings at once, which are called chords. So we strum. In school as well, we also teach ukulele, which is like a little guitar, but it's only got four strings and it produces a really high sound. These are generally used for just strumming chords on, and we generally just use our fingers to play. 